G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see today, I've got something a little bit different to the usual RC products that I feature on Perth West Oz RC. Uh, a couple of months ago, I actually bought this 8-bit mini game system. And as you can see, uh, it's a direct knockoff pretty much of the mini uh, NES that was released a couple of years ago. But this one claims it's got 620 games built in, classic games built in. And uh, it's NTSC and PAL uh, compatible. And I just thought I'll try it out. A couple of months ago, I purchased this off Banggood uh, for $18. And since I actually bought it off that listing on Banggood, uh, they seem to have uh, added another version of this, uh, which is the... They call this one the common version or the standard version. I presume that's what they mean. There's another version with uh, four buttons... On the controller and it's got hdmi this one doesn't this has just got the av out cables there as you can see and it comes with two controllers so um yeah i thought i'll pick this one up it was only 18 dollars us i thought i'll give it a go you know just uh haven't I, I used to be a gamer years ago and i'm not really much into the gaming anymore just basically i don't yeah i don't have time for it anymore as much as i used to many years ago and uh, I'm not really into it as much either, you know, the RC hobby keeps me busy enough. But I thought I'll give this one a go and uh, see what it's all about, see how good it is for 18 US. Um, the advanced version, like I mentioned just then, that retails for around $32 US. So, all right, guys. So, um, yeah, on the box, I mean, it's nothing really much else on the box here except just, you know, 620 built-in game. So... Let's have a quick look inside. First off, as you can see, I've been using this one, so I've wrapped it around. But you get two controllers. This is how it comes. I haven't used this one. So as you can see, it looks like a genuine uh, NES uh, classic gamepad here. And it actually feels like the, the original too. I mean, you know, you've got your A, B button, your select and start, and the D-pad. And these actually work really well, guys, for such a cheap system. I was surprised how well these uh, work. You know, all the buttons work great, responsive. So yeah, there it is there. So there's the controllers. Um, I've just wrapped this up because, I, as you know, I've used it. I've used this console quite a few times in the past couple of months, just here and there. Um, there's the wall plug, okay, and that's um, that's got a... Where's the cable here? On the other end is the uh, old style USB uh, plug there and just the AV in cables, okay? So you get them. And here's the console here, guys. I mean, <laughs> look at that. That's a pretty much spot on copy bar the, uh, you know, the gaming uh, ports there, the plugs. But uh, they've really made this a close copy of the mini NES by the looks of it anyway. It's got entertainment system written on the front. You got your reset and power buttons with a red LED. And uh, yeah, there's the actual two uh, gaming pad ports. And as you can see, if you used to game back in the day, these to me, anyway, they look like the old Atari 2600 console, uh, you know, plug ports for the controllers. Uh, I remember having one of those as a kid. That was my first console, actually. On the back here, got the AV out for your TV cables and uh, you got your DC in for the power. User manual here in English and Chinese. Pretty uh, decent English in this one, you know. Just your basic, you know, how to set it up, how to plug everything in, nothing to it really. And there's another diagram there and the rest is in Chinese. And last but not least, we have the actual uh, list of all the games just here, guys. So there is 620 of them. I'll just uh, scroll down pretty slowly for you if you want to pause this. So, uh, yeah. All the games listed. It's in pretty small writing, so it's pretty uh, hard to read. You know, you basically 
I need glasses to read it. But anyway, so that's it, guys. What I'll do, I'll set it up and uh, we'll have a, a look at some of the games on here. I'll demonstrate some of the games, some of my favourite ones on here, I guess. And, uh, yeah, show you what it's all about for the $18, guys. Okay, guys, well, here is the, uh, once you turn it on, here's the actual main screen. Um, this music is quite annoying, so I'll turn it down. So as you can see, it's a basic uh, basic layout, you know, nothing fancy. We've got all our games here, Contra 2, Double Dragon 2, Street Fighter 2010. I don't think there's such a thing. All right, so we can go through the Adventure Island. You'll notice quite a few uh, actual classic Nintendo games here, guys. But there's also a mix of uh, just random games in here as well. They're not all... Uh, Nintendo related, I can tell you that much. But uh, as we go through, um, Paperboy, you know, there's quite a few familiar ones here, guys. As you can see, they're in pretty much alphabetic order. Some are randomly put in there. Uh, we've got Mario 1, we'll check that out a bit later. Uh, Mario 6, Mario 10, which are definitely made up games. Mario 2. Okay, so as you go through these, what I've actually noticed is that um, even though they claim there's 620 in one games there, as you can see on the top of the screen, there are actually, um, they're, they're doubles, guys. There's quite a few doubles in this, I've noticed. So in actual fact, there's 1942. That's already come up earlier in the listing. Um, Tetris 2, that's come up already. Pac-Man. So... There's 310 games on this, basically, guys. Uh, see, there's Mario 2 again. Contra, Force. Okay, so, um, I mean, yeah, they've doubled them up. But you're still getting a lot of games. I mean, this is only an $18. $18 um, there's Paperboy again. This, it's only an $18, you know, console, so. Uh, okay, let's um, find a game here. Uh that I'll show you. Just go through them. Um, all right, let's let's go for. Uh, we'll go to Contra. Pretty good game. This one. This is probably my favourite game on here. So let's uh, press player one. There we go. Area one. I mean, the colours are pretty good, you know. Um, it's not a bad... Not bad. Let me just uh, turn it up a bit here. I just turned it down because that main title screen is really annoying. So you got auto fire. Just by holding down the uh, B button. So yeah, Contra is a pretty cool game, this one. And there's quite a few different versions of it too on this console. Oh, a bit too uh, late for that one. Ah, oh, damn it. I haven't played this for a couple of months or so, guys, because uh, like I said, I, men I mentioned that I did buy this couple of months back basically during the quarantine period here guys that's another reason I bought it just to spend a bit of time well I couldn't go out ah. all right so there's Contra here is a classic uh, Bubble Bobble, guys. You remember this one at the arcade? I certainly do. Okay. 
It's level one clear. So yeah, I mean this sort of stuff brings back memories. Remember playing this at the arcade? Ah. Oh. So yeah guys, I mean, <laughs> certainly brings memory with some of these games here. And you know, you can share these with your kids. And show them what you used to play maybe when you were younger. Let's move on. Let's play some classic 1942. I just used one of the rolls. I'm pretty sure most of you guys would remember this one if you're uh, old enough. Classic. Ah. All right, <laughs> we'll leave it that. Here's Double Dragon Two. So this is the NES version. That's not bad, the controls are good. Very responsive controls, just like the original NES uh, game pads that I remember. The old uh, knee to the head. <laughs> the colors are a little bit, I don't know, this purple. But uh, yeah, I mean, classic old uh, game here. The old Double Dragon beat him up. Alright, so I've just skipped to where the boss is here for this round. That's round one. Get my ass kicked. The 
some glitchiness on the screen at times as you can see on the right hand side but you know this would be a knockoff of the original I'm not too sure about the color palette is right but fun game nonetheless Island, a bit similar to the old uh, Wonder Boy. Let's quickly show you this. I mean, these type of games are the type of ones that I used to play as a kid, you know. So this would be really good for your kids. There we go. Now here's the original Mario Brothers, guys. Now the colour seems a bit off. Because it is a bootleg version, I guess. But the playability is there, you know. Classic Mario guys. Which as you can see I'm not that great at. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Skip a whole bunch of levels. <laughs> the old warp. There we go. So yeah, I mean, you know, these are some of the old favourites. I'm just going to run through this. So I'm going to run through this. Get that because I'm too big. <laughs> All right, so quickly run through this. Bugger off. What's going on here? Ooh, all right, don't worry about that. Alright guys, well I'll move on to something else now. Here's one called Super Mario Brothers 6. And this would be a... I mean, what is this? <laughs> it's not even Mario. It's Donald Duck or something. Oh, we've got Mario. But this is like a bootleg of a Donald Duck game, I guess, and they've just put a Mario character in it. <laughs> That's exactly what they've done. So, 
There you have it. Let's just have a look at what it's all about here. If I can get through it. Very odd. Oh, well, let's not worry about it. But that's, yeah. I mean, what is that? Okay, let's try this Mario. Super Mario Brothers 10. <laughs> Another knockoff game, guys. Kung Fu. So, you know, you're going to get uh, just, yeah, random games like this as well. <laughs> okay. This ain't your traditional Mario game, that's for sure. So yeah, not too sure what this is all about, that's for sure. They've just put a Mario head on another character from a different game, well this original game, that's all they've done. Okay, and they've called it Mario, Super Mario 10 Kung Fu. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Alright, let's try the old Gallagher out, classic Gallagher. Okay. So this is a classic arcade game from the early 80s. Early 80s arcades, or the late 70s. Remember my brothers uh, used to play, this is one of their favourite ones back then. Come on, let's get going. Ah, you're joking. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I mean, guys, there are some pretty decent classic games here, um, as well as some weird knockoffs, you know, as you can see by some of those Mario games. I'm not going to get taken out by the last one again, am I? Jeez. There we go. Alright, so that's... Uh, Challenging stage. Number of hits. All right, guys. Well, let's move on to another one. Okay, let's try the old classic Pac-Man. Old classic. Okay. So everyone knows what Pac-Man's all about. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting cornered here. I'm I'm gone. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, this has got to be my favourite uh, game on this console. It's Contra Twenty Four in One. It's got, as you can see, 24 different versions and different guns you can start off with. So I like to choose the second one. And yeah, this is my favourite one out of the whole uh, games on the console. Classic uh, Nintendo and Konami game. 
And uh, mm-hmm. I've spent most of my time playing this one, actually. I haven't played this console for a while, as I mentioned before. But I uh, spent a few hours clocking this game quite a few times. I like how it's got auto-fire, so you just hold the button down. Great game, this one. It's a classic. Oh, nearly got shot. Ah, should have kept going. <laughs> Anyways. Until I haven't played this for a while. Getting killed rather easily here. Yeah, this is a great game, this one, for sure. Alright guys, well I'll leave that, leave it to that and I'll give you my conclusions. Anyway guys, I'll wrap it up there. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video on the mini game system here. As you can see, it's a clearly a uh, Nintendo mini NES system. Um, and like I showed you, it does claim 620 games built in, but there clearly is not 620 different games on there. They've been doubled up. Um, I don't know if all of them have been doubled up, but as you can clearly see when I showed you the menu screen, uh, quite a few of them have been doubled up anyway. So whether there's 310 and all of them have been doubled uh, up or not, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I'd have to pay attention to every single, uh, you know, title there and then see if it's all doubled up, which I'm not going to do, but... Anyway, guys, um, you know, regardless of that, for $18, it's not a bad little 8-bit system uh, to revisit some old Nintendo classics and some <laughs> knockoff games there. As you can see, uh, some of those Mario ones were definitely made-up games, and there's a few bootleg games on there for sure. Um, but there's also some original uh, classics there that have been copied into this uh, console from Nintendo. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll leave the link to where I purchased this from, which is Banggood, uh, when I bought it a few months back. Like I said, it's only $18 for this one. This is the standard one. On the same listing, they've added a updated or advanced uh, model, which has uh, four buttons on the controller and a HDMI port. So that what that model might have different games than this one. And uh, yeah. It's not a bad little system if you uh, want to pass a bit of time uh, and you're bored and uh, maybe you've got brothers and sisters as well. You can, you got two controllers so you can play, play uh, doubles, you know, so, um, or you could, you know, if you're an adult and you've got some young kids, this would be probably a perfect console for them at a low cost to uh, share with them some of the games that you played when you were younger, okay? So, uh, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. I just thought I'd put something a little bit different on the channel i've actually got one more arcade mini arcade machine that i bought not so long ago uh after i bought this one so i'll make a review on that that's a lot better than this one but it also cost about five times more than this particular um little console so if you enjoyed the video guys feel free to comment below if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and i'd sure do appreciate it so Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll catch you on the next video and it'll more than likely be RC related. I just thought I'll do something a little bit different like I mentioned. Okay, catch you guys later.